All right, hey everybody, this is Michael, and I'm going to show you guys my brand new application, uh, Code Assistant. It's a really quick and simple way to test uh, snippets of code, your algorithms, and immediately see the output. Uh, you don't have to fire open a new Visual Studio uh, instance and have a little console application there to test things. You can do everything in Code Assistant. So. Right here, we have the UI, it's very simple. The editor pane, we have an output pane, and then just a few buttons, run, stop, a new editor window, and then save your files. Um, everything's done, can be done with keyboard shortcuts. So if I were to hit this green run arrow or control R, we can see the output of this function right here. So we can tweak it, paste it down, run this again, and we can immediately see the output. And this language right here, you can see in the drop down or in this combo box, it's C. So um, if we open this up, for some reason, Camtasia doesn't show all these languages here, but uh, I'll put a little image to the left here. But I'll switch here to C++. Hit Control R, run it, and we can do the same. Do some changes. Oops. Hello world. Plus plus. Run, and we can see the output. So uh, there's Node.js, Perl, PHP, Ruby. We'll switch to C sharp. Quick C sharp app. Uh, how you get output down here is by the basic. A console right line or Python and Ruby print and puts. Um, it also supports VB.net. And so if we go to C sharp, I want to load up a file in Control O. I've got a little algorithm on the desktop here. Let's load this up. And see, we've got the link exports. You can import all the system namespaces and let me delete this one let's run it we can see the output really easy and simple if you have an algorithm that you like you want to modify a little changes hit Control r for a new editor window and it saves your state so you don't have to copy and paste it into this other window to make a change you just Control r or Control n for the new window make your changes run it and it works so we can change some of these to some text here and then on this item say to upper run it and we can see the uppercase so really quick really simple we can go to PHP so you no longer have to have this browser window open with a little PHP file trying to test little things your arrays and whatnot you can do it all here so hit this green arrow to run and we get this little error and it was saying um, I couldn't find some of my default compilers that are in the language definition so if you get this error you probably don't have a compiler or runtime on your computer if you do have a compiler or runtime just hit control F and search for it so I know I have PHP installed on this it's on my desktop so go to my PHP folder select that PHP runtime, hit open and then we can try running this again and we see our PHP output so really simple we can change write more code in here uh, mic equals Michael echo mic mm, there we go so really quick really simple way to test your code uh, you need to check out codeassistant.com and within the next week this will go up for sale it will be five bucks so really really easy and affordable for you a good way for you to learn a new language you can be working through a book you don't have to have this huge IDD, IDE open 
and while you're working on a book you can just go through each part try whatever you're learning so it's really simple and easy so check out the website keep updated it'll go on sale within the next week if you have any questions leave a comment or send me an email i'll be more than glad to answer thanks